She always had a lot of fears. You know, the typical stuff. Snakes, hides, standing out, being alone, monsters in her closet, <laughs> nothing special. But there's one fear that's been present in her life more than any other. The fear of deep feelings. It is, however, unfortunate when your biggest fear is your most defining quality. She was born in a world that didn't quite make sense to her. A world that tattooed the words drama queen on her tongue when the thoughts of her soul first fell from her lips. So she loved the quiet, because the quiet wouldn't ask for explanations. And she loved the chaos, where there was not enough time for people to see through her curtain. To see the lonely parts. Parts that could scare people off, so she decided to just be scared by herself. And when life put too many stones in her way, she tumbled and fell into the water. A water that allowed her to exist for a second. Just exist, you know? At some point, she had to get back up to breathe. That's something she'd always forget when she felt deep feelings. And then she grew up and they told her the rules. No emotions. You can't cry. Crying is for the weak. And if there is ever any salt water coming out of your eyes in public, it better be the sweat to work off those extra pounds of yours. Take care of yourself, but don't care for yourself. Keep working on things you don't actually want to achieve and learn for authorities, not for your future. And remember, love is something you earn, not something you own. No deep feelings. That means you cannot feel more than words can express, because vocalized justification is your only chance of being accepted. Be a normal feeler. Because God forbid, if you ever, ever catch yourself overfeeling, shut, shut it down. down. Shut, shut it, it down. down. Shut, shut it down. down. So she shut it down for a while. Sometimes she thinks about who she would be if she would have been taught as a kid how to cope with the feelings she had instead of suppressing them. How to love and understand the way she thinks instead of thinking she was unlovable or legible. Took her a while, but I believe she realized that feeling is not a weakness. It is what provides the wings that let us fly higher and allow us to be brave enough to take the risk of falling deeper. And also, nobody ever flies into love. You gotta fall for it. And she's come to the conclusion that deep feelings have always been a friend of hers. She just couldn't feel it. Well, <laughs> now I feel it.